According to latest media reports, the tender documents issued by the Aeronautical Development Agency has asked for expression of interest to manufacturers that are capable of designing testing and supplying two full mission simulators of the medium weight fighter, and the tender documents also revealed the final cockpit configuration for the upcoming medium weight fighter. The original plan to use two multifunction displays of size 6 by 8 inches and 5 by 5 inches have been abandoned, and the medium weight fighter will now be equipped with a high definition touchscreen wide aerial display of 20 by 8 inches, that will allow intelligent presentation of information. The wide aerial display can also handle high volumes of data, supporting the pilot's ability to select launch and guide air to air and air to ground systems in perfect coordination. The medium weight fighter might also feature a side stick controller like F-35 Lightning II, which will help to reduce the cockpit clutter, and will not block the critical instruments from the pilot's view. The 222 Squadron of the Indian Air Force has got resurrected with state-of-the-art Su-30 fighter jets. The 222 Squadron was raised on 15 September 1969 with Su-7, and the Squadron was later equipped with MiG-27. This Squadron is famous for numerous successful strikes against Pakistan's Armoured Corps in 1971. A test pilot of Hindustan Aeronautics have shared the first official render of a twin-engine fighter jet which is similar to the 17.5-ton medium-weight fighter being developed by India's Aeronautical Development Agency, as the fighter jet features infrared search and track system in the same position as seen in the scale model of the medium-weight fighter. A majority of the defense community believes that it is the 25-ton twin-engine deck-based fighter that is being developed for the Indian Navy to replace MiG-29K, while others believe that it is an Air Force variant of the twin-engine deck-based fighter. The Society of Indian Defense Manufacturers have expressed concern over increasing military imports in the last two years, and declining modernization budget for the armed forces, along with long-pending requests to provide a level playing field to private sector with government-owned enterprises. The private industry will not be able to compete against government-owned units like Hindustan Aeronautics, that have been getting nominated orders for decades. The Indian Space Research Organization has designated 2,300 acres of land, for setting up its second launch center. ISRO Chairman Keshavan has said, that the new launch center will be initially meant for launching small satellite launch vehicles. He also said, that the final four astronauts have been selected, and they will begin training in Russia from third week of January.